Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm a wildlife artist. Welcome into my studio. And most of you probably know me from for painting oils or alkyd oils. And I've been doing those for probably around about 20 years now. Um, I've done other mediums as well. I've done a little bit with graphite. I've done a little bit with white pastel. I've done a little bit with uh, charcoals, usually on black paper as well. So I've dabbled, you know, a little bit in other mediums, but I'm mainly known for alkyd oils or oil painting and the wildlife. So I tried to diversify a little bit as well and around about probably 15 years ago I had a little dabble with pastel so I just bought a very basic set, I bought some decent paper or what I thought was decent paper, tried to do a one or two wildlife areas in it and complete disaster, it just didn't work at all, it was just really really frustrating for me and I put it to the side and I've never done anything with it since. But Recently I've seen, especially on my on Instagram, I've seen lots of people doing some real detailed wildlife art with pastels and also portraits as well and I thought perhaps it'd be time to have another go. And I got hold of some certain, you know, supplies. I got, um, I could see that lots of people were using either pastel mat or vela paper. So I got hold of what I thought would work and I had a quick go and yesterday I did this uh, leopard's eyes and it all worked out really well. It was completely different than when I first tried pastels. And I could see then that a lot was dependent on the materials with this. Now, I've tried colored pencils in the past and I think I didn't really get on with them that well. And the reason is when you're painting with oils, you generally go from um, dark to light. And when you do coloured pencils, it's kind of the reverse of that because it's more difficult to get a light on top of a dark. So it really didn't work out well in my head that I was trying to switch from, you know, reverse techniques all the time. But with pastel, it's very, very similar to painting. So you can work dark to light and you can overlay the light on top. And that makes painting or drawing fur really, really much more straightforward. So. When I posted that little picture I just showed you on my Facebook channel, I had lots and lots of people asking me what paper I was using, what pencils I was using, what pastel sticks I was using, how I was sharpening them, lots and lots of questions. Now I'm, a, I'm an absolute beginner. So I've painted for many years, but I'm an absolute beginner with pastels. I don't know much, but I do know what's worked for me so far, and I can share that with you. So that hopefully if you're trying to get into pastels or you want to restart them because you've had a bit of frustration at the beginning, if we all get the same type of materials, we can learn about pastels together. I'm not bound by any companies saying about papers or pencils, nothing whatsoever. I bought all this material myself. So I don't owe anyone anything, so it's all my unbiased opinion. And some things could be right and some things wrong, but I know what worked to create this uh, little leopard painting. So let's have a look, see how I did it, and see the materials that I'm using. So this is the highly speeded up version for YouTube. The two and a quarter hour version is over on my Patreon channel where I go into lots and lots of details of the materials used and why they work and things like that. So basically I use the Conti sticks for most of the blocking in. It gets the job done really quickly and it's a lot less expensive than using pencils for everything. And as I mentioned, using pastels is very, very similar to oil painting so you can go from dark to light and where coloured pencils is very difficult because you can't get that light on top. So I'm using the darks, I'm using the Contis to get that basic tone of the eye, so the nice lightness and darkness. And then I come in with the pencils for more of the detailed work. I tackle the fur in the same sort of process, so Contis in first to get that basic tone and the basic coloration, then I gradually go lighter and lighter. I'm not rushing towards the highlight too quickly because fur has obviously got depth and the only way to really get that is to layer it in. So I've got the basic tone in with the Conti sticks and then you saw I came in then with a dark stick to get some of the shadow areas of the fur and now I've come in with the highlight pencils to really create that pop and that depth of fur. Exactly the same process on the top again, Conti sticks or you can just use a soft pastel and then I usually smudge it all out and blend it in with my fingers before coming back in to establish more of the darks. 
and then gradually once again going lighter and lighter with the pencils. Adding more and more detail as I'm going along. Now the most important part is the paper type being used and that's clear fontaine pastel matte and it's a fairly rough surface and it really grabs that pastel so it holds many many layers. Now if you've tried pastels in the past and you've really had problems and can't get the layers I almost guarantee that's due to the paper type. So do yourself a favour get something like pastel matte or something very similar and then you'll find once again that you can really put those layers on there that's really critical for doing fur and wildlife art. So for the left eye, as you can imagine, I'm doing exactly the same technique. Blocking in mostly with the Condi sticks and then working lighter and lighter with the pencils. Normally I would have done the left eye first because I'm right handed, but I was only intending on doing the right eye, but the pastel paper and the pencils work so fantastically it really surprised me and I decided to do the whole drawing and finish it all off. Hope you've liked this short video. If you want to see lots of detail in it in two and a quarter hours long, go over to my Patreon channel and you can sign up there for a monthly subscription from only $4 and it comes with lots and lots of other videos too. If you're looking for more art resources, I really think I've got you covered. I've got a brand new Patreon channel and on there every month I bring out exclusive full length videos for you and also exclusive reference photos with line art. I've got a dedicated website for tutorials, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, lots of full length videos, some of them up to eight hours long on there, and there's also ebook tutorials as well if you'd like to read rather than see the videos. I've got a dedicated reference photo website, wildlifeart-online.com, there's over 900 images on there, all for you to use copyright free, and they all come with the Easy Trace line art as well. And don't forget my YouTube channel is growing all the time. If you can possibly subscribe, then you know you're guaranteed not to miss out on any new videos and updates. See you all again real soon.